what is up you guys and welcome to or back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be doing another transformation this time it's going to be a car transformation and we are going to be completely changing the interior of my black leather and switching it from black to a pretty pink purple so before we get started without further ado make sure you like and subscribe because it helps me out a whole whole bunch and without further ado let's jump straight into today's video all right you guys so you heard correctly we are going to be changing the interior of my car color and we're not just going to be adding some car cover seats and just throwing it over it no you guys have been telling me to get car seat covers for my car for the longest to match the purple floor mats that i got if you don't know i did post a video a while back where i did a tesla transformation and i took out my car seat covers and i replaced it with some full length ones that were pretty purple and they're also like this quilted stitch and that was also a collab video and it was so much fun to do i know you guys loved that one so i'm back again with another one but this one is going to be a lot bigger of a transformation this one is going to be the entire interior of the car and like I said before after I posted that video so many people were saying hey you need to do the seats like you need to get some car seat covers on TikTok there's like these ones that are viral like this pink one here I'll put a picture of it um that everyone's been putting in their cars apparently it's like full coverage but I love detail like I would like the car seat covers but like in my head like when I'm in the car I'm always gonna see like some spots that's like it's missing the car seat covers right and it's always gonna be black in certain areas like the door panels or the dashboard or like everywhere where there's leather and that's not what I want when I change the interior of my car I want the complete interior changed I want all the black leather to be basically upholstered upholstered I think that's how you say it upholstered and changed to a pretty pink purple color so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video i was scrolling on tiktok you know me looking and then on my for you page someone's video came up and they did the interior of the car they changed it from black to red so when i saw that i was like oh my gosh and it was like a vibrant red you guys like it was a really pretty red and i was like wow like that's crazy i wonder if i can get that in like a pink color or a purple one if they have different options right contacted the company and they actually do custom color matching you guys so that means you can go to your local home depot walmart lowe's wherever you want and pick out any like color samples that they have and literally just mail them um, a color sample and they will match that color for you and you can get that color for the interior of your leather so how cool is that that's exactly what i did you guys i went ahead and collected some paint samples i actually did a poll on my instagram as well to let you guys pick the color on what i should do because there was so many color options i could not pick if you guys know my car is an iridescent color and it kind of looks pink and purple with like hints of green and blue and stuff like that but we're mostly focusing on the pink and purple portion of it so i'm doing accents of pink and purple so i have like pink brake pads of the purple and the interior with the steering wheel cover I have some purple crowned caps on my brakes um, a whole bunch of like you know little details and stuff so moving on to doing a bigger detail which is again changing that leather they send me enough dye apparently to completely transform my car I told them the project I told them what I wanted to do they checked out my accounts they seen the car they seen the socials so they were like hey that sounds like an awesome fun project we are totally down like let's get it done so i was like oh my gosh i'm so excited so they sent me a kit they custom color matched it i sent out the sample um drum roll please for the color that i picked because i know you guys if you were on my other socials and you've been waiting to see what color i picked um drum roll Ta -da! it is murberry okay it was giving pink and purple like it looks like it's purple without the sun and when the sun hits it it looks pink so I love that I wanted something that gave both of them you know what I mean I loved pink pizzazz and I know a lot of you guys liked pink pizzazz as well it's a hot cute pink but the only thing about that was I felt like pink pizzazz if I did the entire car with it it was gonna kind of look more red than pink and I didn't want that I want it to be more of a purple pink tone and when you open it it's just like a pink purple magenta explosion in your face <laughs> it's so heavy and i mean i guess oh my gosh here's the package it's this is it 
and a big thank you to Auto Leather Dye for sending the kit and doing this color custom match and supporting us on our Tesla transformation journey, you guys. So definitely check them out. Not only do they do custom color matching work, but if you don't want to send out a sample, they do have some like pre-made colors, like preset colors that's already there that you can match with your car. And they also do sell leather repair kits. So any for cracks, any deep cuts, all that you can also use their website to repair all fun leather work so we have a cut actually in the tesla in the back seat i'm not sure how that got there at all really i honestly just went in there and i saw it and i was like oh my gosh so i actually texted them about it and they were so sweet so nice and they actually sent me a leather repair kit as well so we're going to be taking a look at that also and i'm going to show you guys how to use the leather repair kit as well as how to dye your leather so hopefully this is a really good informational video for you guys so you can understand step by step on how you can recreate this at your own home and yeah let's go ahead and get to unboxing her and seeing all the supplies and tools that she came with thank you so much to auto leather dye we love you don't forget to go show them some love also on their socials as well i got my pink scissors as well here um wait okay i know this is probably gonna be like girl be for real but i love these little things because how aesthetically pleasing is this like for videos and content like when i unbox it for my tiktok and i'm gonna go ahead and take everything out we're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything um read the directions look at the little sponge they did have two techniques so they had like an airbrush technique and they had a sponge technique that they could send a kit for um i did go ahead and use the sponge technique just because i know that we're going to be doing the dashboards we're going to be getting into the nitty gritty and i really want to be able to get into the details and get those little small areas i'm not too 100 sure on how much detail the airbrush can get versus you know getting nitty gritty with your hands so we're gonna go with that method and let me go ahead and i'm so excited i see the gloss in here i'm seeing the paint i'm seeing materials so let me record this real quick and then we'll go ahead and start unboxing all the fun stuff Oh my gosh. Girl, get your little peanuts off of her. Get your food stuff on her. Hold on. It melts on it. It's Texas, so I'm not surprised. You know, Texas weather. Satisfying. Okay. Look at this big gallon. We're going to have to mix. Like, we're going to have to shake it up because you can see it's like an ombre. But look, at it literally looks pink and purple. Oh my gosh. I'm holding her like a baby because this is it. Okay, let me... I don't want peanuts on my floor. I'm going to have to mix it, for real. This is going to fill my entire car, for sure. Beautiful color. I love it. Next in the box, we have... It says it's the top coat, and it's in low gloss. I want a little gloss, you know what I mean? I want a little shine, but I don't want too much of a shine where it's like, girl, your stuff is oily, shiny looking, I guess. I don't know. I didn't want to get the ultra one. I just got the low gloss for a little, little splash of shine. Um, nothing much, but some pressure still. So let's take her out of this. this. Then we got our dye kit. Let's go ahead and open her up. It's coming with a empty spray bowl. We got some gloves. We're gonna need some gloves for sure. A sponge. It looks like a different material sponge than what we usually have, and it is three different paddings of it. We got another bottle. This is leather adhesion promoter. This is the primer, okay. We put this before the top coat, gotcha. Guys, it's so technical, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, so this says high tech adhesive primer. Bit looking primer, this one's more of a white tone primer. It's probably gonna be a lot of priming. We'll read the directions and see for sure. But we got another sponge, and then another white sponge. And another white sponge. We got a lot of sponges, y'all, because like I said, we're doing everything. The back seats, the door panels, the dashboard, everything. So this is a deep leather filler. I did have a deep cut in um, the back leather like we talked about earlier. So this is the tool that we're going to be using to help fill that up. So this will be the first thing that we do for sure. Another sponge. That is the last of it. Then lastly, we just have our receipt of all the items that we have. It's 128 ounces. 
thank you so much for your patience and cooperations. We can't wait to see the results. And I cannot wait to you guys either. Thank you guys so much for the beautiful kit that you guys sent me with all of this amazing stuff. So without further ado, let's begin with our first steps. We'll take a look at some of the befores, see how she looks right now. And we're actually gonna have to start off with the deep leather filler. So let's go ahead and look at that first. So our car is cleared out. We drove up into the light. It's looking nice and ready to just be transformed i'm so excited y'all last look last look of her being black in the interior um i am so excited to go ahead and get her colored all right so just want to give you guys one last look at the before other side how pretty is she i love my car um i know there's a handful of you guys that's gonna be like no not the black being gone but y'all we have to do it to them we gotta do it to them so let's go ahead and complete this transformation now um i think it's called like a black piano trim or something like that something along those lines i'm not too sure i'll put it in um the right term i'm so sorry about that but um it's supposed to be like where there's this gloss um beam on it and there's also like this gloss right here on it still gonna be some cute little black accent pieces but majority of it is going to be colored so let's go ahead and begin the cleaning process before we begin we have to have extremely nice and clean seats that means clean of any body oils dirt grime all that and as you guys can see the leather is pretty dirty i have my dogs back here and you know it's been a while since it's been clean don't worry you guys when i do this new coloring to my seats my dogs are no longer going to be allowed on my seats at all i'm strictly keeping them on their car seats because i am not going to risk them messing up my seats again but we're going to go ahead and give her a nice clean so we're going to start off with our dynamic cleaner this is a prep cleaner that our kit came with get her nice and prepped for work so this is the little crack so this classifies as a deep crack that we're going to have to use our little kit for but it is still connected so that's what's a plus all right y'all that is some clean leather if i do say so myself this is looking nice sponge not too dirty i was scrubbing pretty hard my arm hurts so let's go ahead and begin filling in this crack filler kits as well the leather seats look so clean oh my gosh this whole time all i needed was that one tool to clean my seats to clean my leather are you kidding me this looks so good okay so we have i see some leather bond and the the filler itself okay um so this is cleaned of all dirt and grime we just cleaned her i like going to the leather filler into her area allowed to dry hair dryer can be used that's what it looks like it's like gum I don't want to get it on my seats, but it looks like gum, you guys. Cool. I'm just going to begin scooping and then like filling it inside of there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I definitely have it stuffed in there. All right, y'all. That was the most satisfying part ever. Wow, like, I didn't know filling in leather cracks was so satisfying. I love that. They did say to do one to two coats of this and then, you know, like, let it dry in between coats. So I'm going to assume, like, this is going to be our first coating. Um, it does take six hours to dry, so let's go ahead and just move on it to painting now i think i'm going to start how my mom taught me to vacuum which is to the corner and work my way back which means i'm going to start from this very very corner space the dashboard and i'm going to begin painting there and then i'm going to slowly start painting every little thing that i need to paint until we lead up to here so we'll probably end up doing depending on the sun is setting so um we'll probably do you know the dash and front pieces and maybe the front two doors we'll see how far we get but that's what we're going to start off by doing Because the dashboard is leather, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the leather adhesin promoter, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that first coat of that. 
and it says to wipe or spray one coat of the primer bought these sponges from Walmart so I can get into those little more precise areas all right y'all so not only are we fully prepped oh my gosh there's a school bus but I also put some tape paint to cover the edges just so we can get a little bit more clean with it um, so yeah we are primed at the bottom primed at the top and let's begin painting I know I've been saying that guys look at Fendi she looks so cute with the pink reflecting on her hey girl hey girl paw give me your paw 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 mama's paw good girl <laughs> Okay, so this is the color. Let's go ahead and mix her and begin applying. Alright y'all, so our first layer of paint is on there. This is what I like to call the crumb coat, as the bakers call it. So it's like pretty messy looking. Here's how it looks from the front. You can't really see it that good, but we'll get some cool close-ups, you know, for the end results. But yeah, we have it down here, and this is all the leathered areas. So I haven't touched any of the plastic. My camera is dying. I'm gonna go ahead off camera and prime all of the plastic pieces, which include like right here. Prime the doors as well. Begin that. Clean it first, and then prime it. And then I'm gonna finish up that middle portion as well. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a whole lot of priming off camera, but don't worry, I will be on camera so you guys can see the time lapse of the coloring. So you guys will not miss that. That is the first coat that is done on the front area. This is all of the leather and plastic avoiding the seats. The seats will be done last, y'all, because, you know, I obviously still have to sit on it so I can reach into those hard-to-get places. I'm going to officially wait for it to dry. I know most of it, majority, is already dried. But as I'm waiting for the rest to fully dry, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the back. It's looking so good guys and this is literally just the first coat it's like what are you kidding me and we're gonna go all the way around y'all we're doing the dashboard we're gonna do the sides add that second coating onto all everywhere that you guys see pink and then we're gonna begin the leather seats and oh we gotta do the doors too y'all so second coating then we'll work on the doors and then we'll do the seats let's get into it
you guys look at how good just the second coat looks oh my gosh i'm so excited it looks so much better already just by the second one um i still want to do a third and a fourth and then our top coat that compared to the first side like what that's full coverage that looks so good okay so i'm gonna go ahead and let this dry Okay guys, so we have done our second coating in our back seat that is officially done. I haven't done the doors yet, but we did the back. Went around all of the doors and I fully cleaned and primed them so they're all looking like nice little primed ribs. We have that one. As you can see, they all look nice, clean, and a little bit glossy because we have that one first prime coat on them. So I have those drying because we're going to get into doing that. I bought some smaller ones because the other ones I had were way too thick. Um, so I just put some some and I've realigned the masking tape all the way around in those details. I also did the doors um, where that silver was so we don't get that silver. As I'm waiting for the doors to finish priming because the prime has to dry fully before we can touch it with paint, I'm gonna begin the back seats, you guys. Yes, we're getting into the seats. We do have this spot right here that is fully dried. My tear is literally fixed you guys like it's such a nice smooth little it feels nice and like gooey just like the leather material so that is like so awesome i'm gonna go ahead and use my sandpaper now and we're gonna sand that down i'm using 600 grit and sand down this area It feels so nice and soft, you guys. Go ahead and clean now the entire back seat, and I'm going to prep it, and then we will get into a time lapse of me coloring all the doors and coloring the back seat. The back is fully primed ribbed, as you can kind of see there's like a light wetness and all that to it and you saw the time lapse so I'm just gonna let this fully dry we're gonna let her sit overnight actually because I think I'm gonna look at how pretty oh my gosh I'm so excited for the final result but we are gonna let her sit overnight and then I will be back tomorrow to begin the first coat Alright, so here is our first coat on our back seats, fully done. It's also, I believe, fully dried as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in again and hit it with its second coat. Um, we also have our side panels, which I believe it's on their third coating for those, which is our side panels and the back seats as well. Um, so then we also have to do the doors as well and give it another coating because I think they are, yes, fully dried. So y'all are gonna just see a time lapse of me just trying to paint over as much as I can before we lose sunlight. As you can see, the sun is setting. So let's try to get this done. Not only have I gone through and gave everything another coating, but I am also went ahead and I went to the front and I have completely washed and primed the front two seats. So we're coming to the ending, guys. It's giving Barbie pink. Like what the heck? I was going for like a purple pink tone, but it's giving Barbie. I love it. All 
All right, you guys, I've done a couple coatings off camera, so let's take a look. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys. Okay, so it is coming together so perfect. I literally, like, I am so shook right now at how smooth, how beautiful, and oh my gosh i love it so much not stressing out about the headliner too much because i do have another video coming up on that you know side eye who knows what that is but let's go ahead and i'm also going to begin putting my first coat on that beam up there because we want everything pink girl we need it all purple pink That is the last coat. I hope you guys can hear me good. It's super windy outside. But now that the final coat is on there, um, before we do our top coat, I'm gonna go ahead and go around and remove all of the sticky tapes. Because from my experience on certain areas, whenever it's stuck to it as it's drying and you remove it, it'll like peel off. So in case any area is stuck that's connected and begins peeling off and just like ruining it, um, I'll be able to go back in and do touch-ups before we do the top coat. So I'm gonna do that real quick and remove all the tape and begin making her look all nice and clean. All right, y'all, so I got some paint thinner, Gooby Gone, and then I also have some more of our primer, and then I got sponges as well so we can get into those little detailed areas. What I'm gonna do is basically go around all the places that is lifting or any places that has little cracks like this, and I'm going to grab one of my small brushes and put on another thick layer of some of that primer and just, you know, dot it in those areas, make the flaps touch again, let that dry, and then we'll go over it with paint and, you know, seal it all together. Then I'm gonna go in with, you know, the paint thinner, some of the Gooby Gone and clean up the edges. I'm gonna use the paint thinner to clean up the silver edges, use the Gooby Gone to clean up the black here because that's from the tape that got sticky on there. Go around and clean up all the details. So we are almost completely out of our paint. So we have like literally a speck left. Um, I went ahead and cleaned up the doors. Look at how clean and good that looks. Oh my gosh, I'm a professional with it. Don't play with her. <laughs> but I am gonna go ahead. It's still a little bit, there's a little bit of primer and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead when we do the top coat and everything, then I'll go in with the alcohol wipe and clean all the silver spots to make it look all nice and perfect. But this is how she's looking so far. Go ahead and start removing all the rest of the tape so I can go in and clean up any areas that need extra cleaning with what I do have left and give anything else that needs an extra top coat like the wheel, it's extra last top coat. Um, the dashboard looks so nice and clean. It looks so good, you guys. Now all that's left is our top coating. So I have it right here, a semi-gloss, I believe that I got. Um, I didn't want to get the high gloss or the dull one because, you know, not too hot or too cold. We want it just right, so we got that semi. I'm gonna go ahead and apply two to three coats of this all over my entire car so we can preserve this pretty little color. We don't want it to get all flaky and stuff like that. So then I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of me just applying our top coat.
all right y'all so you are looking at the third coating of our top coat onto our car it looks so good loving how the results are turning out um, so before i apply my last and final top coating for the time lapse for you guys i'm gonna go in with some more paint thinner and i am going to do any last minute touch-ups to the silver parts i have a little bit on the dashboard again over there so i'm gonna use the paint thinner and clean that and clean up you know the cup holder okay it is time to go in with our final coating i'm so excited um so let's go in and do that last and final one I And then even though we are about to do our last coating, we also need to do a leather protection cream over our top coating to protect our leather. And we also have to do a two to three coats of this as well. So great. So we're not almost done, you guys, but we are almost done. We're almost done, but we're not almost done. I also broke a nail in the process, so that's great. So I've done the final coating of our low gloss coat. So yay, we did a total of four coats. I did four for just safety measures. I don't know. I just wanted to have that extra security. Um, but now we're going to go in with leather protection cream, and we again have to do a two to three coats of this. I won't do four, don't worry. <laughs> um, as much as possible because we want to make sure our leather is nice and protected and they'll see the time lapse of that my camera kind of died so you guys missed um, the full time lapse of me applying the last coating but we are fully charged up and ready to go again so at least you'll now see a time lapse of me applying the leather cream All right, so our first protection layer is on there. And now while I let the first layer dry, um, we're gonna go ahead and put back in those purple car mats. I have to clean them first cause they're quite dirty. So while I clean them and get them all prepped, hopefully the first layer will be dry. And then we can move on to doing the second coating of our protective. All right, and the car mats are in. It looks so good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin doing the second layer of protection. Um, and I'm also gonna go in and begin putting in my little neon strips back in. I'm gonna put in the dashboard ones. I have some pink ones for the door handles, but they are temporary. I'm gonna replace all of them with the purple ones and the same one as the dash. Still have to order them off Amazon. And just in case they don't come in on time, this video may end up having, you know, pink neon on the doors but it will be changed to purple eventually that is the plan let's go and finish this up So I have applied my last and final top coating of my protectant layer. So we are nice and protected. All I'm gonna go ahead and put in the rest of my car decorations and add everything back in. I won't do that on camera because that's not what this video is about. This video is about the seats. So I'm gonna go ahead and add everything cute back in. And we are actually gonna cut to the cute cut scene of our final results. Oh my gosh, finally. <laughs>
and y'all of course know me I put my little covers back on because regardless of a new coat I still want to protect my girl from jeans being rubbed on her back and forth stuff like that and here is how the back looks with her little covers I love these covers so much they have these cute little pockets here as well I think they're so adorable those are available on my Amazon storefront also if anyone is interested but yeah this is how she's looking that is a pink Tesla you guys we love a good pink and purple pretty unicorn Tesla that's exactly what we're doing here y'all that's not a magenta explosion in your face I don't know what is. All right, you guys. So that is going to be it for today's video. I know it was um, a little long. This whole process took me five ever, you guys. <laughs> Compressing it into like a 30 minute video was like, oh my gosh, that's not even like, I literally got my wisdom teeth taken out in the middle of this whole process. So I had to take a whole week off because I literally could not even like function or like move around to even work on my car while I was recovering from that. The worst experience of my entire life. I literally hated it, um, but I am healed back again. Uh, obviously, I've been working on my car since then. This whole process feels like it took me an eternity, but it really honestly probably took me about like three to four weeks i'd say um quite a bit though um definitely think it was worth it and it was just in time for the february season you know it is the season of love the season of pink and prettiness so i feel like you know this is kind of like on brand like perfect video for like valentine's day i'm transforming my car pink so we love that don't forget to check out auto leather dye again um thank you guys so much for sending me this this amazing coloring kit definitely let me know Know what you guys think down below in the comments of our new color did you like the black more or do you like the pink or are you like vibing with the pink or did you wish that i picked one of the other colors on uh, my instagram let me know i want to hear it from you guys still the beginning of this journey keep doing fun stuff like this to the tesla because next like i've been saying is this headliner so yeah i have a whole bunch more to do to you guys we are going to have a lot more car content coming out for you guys so definitely stay tuned for that so that is going to be it for today's video don't forget to like and subscribe so we can continue making more transformation tesla content let me know if you guys are loving this unicorn transformation car series because i am absolutely loving it and also let me know if you have any ideas that you may want to see to the car that you think is like the perfect just unicorn car aesthetic because i will definitely be open to any type of ideas as well check out auto leather dye and dip into some color y'all you can definitely play with your car change the color up do something new you know what i mean this project it was lengthy but it was definitely fun would i do it again um i'm not too sure about that <laughs> this video is already super long enough i love you guys so so much and i will see you again in my next video Mwah.